<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There's a brand new update for Vision Quest 3D. Let's go over all of the things that changed with the update. First things first, a new sound manager. This is big. So, um, what the patch just says is it allows the game to load an ambient track and a music track and also load monster sound effects. So, more layers of tracks. I know all about that. I uh, edit audio quite often. So, the more tracks you can have, the better. I guess they only had a single track or two tracks before, and I guess they can have three now. Uh, not that big of a deal, but they did change some of the in-game sounds. Here's what it sounds like to open a bag in Adventure Quest 3D. Now, I would play the old sound, but I don't want anyone's ears to bleed, I don't want any lawsuits. Um, so, we're not going to play the old sound. Also, I still do have, that was one of my main issues with the audio. Uh, my second of my two main issues with the audio was the spinning animation on the warrior class. I'll play that for you right now. As you may be able to tell, there's a tiny wee bit of distortion, just just a little bit of distortion in that audio. Um, hopefully they can get a clean file of that sound or have a file that's a little less distorted than that. And maybe it's not distorted, maybe that's just how the audio sounds. Maybe they should change the sound file for that. Just my opinion though, uh, maybe some people are fine with that audio, I think it sounds really distorted. Uh, but yeah, so moving on, uh, there's some more cool features that were added. Uh, a locked uh, camera zoom option in settings. So if you don't want your camera zoom moving around, if you accidentally hit your scroll wheel on your mouse, uh, you can now lock your camera zoom. Very useful. Uh, I actually really like that. I'll probably get some use out of that. Uh, and they fixed a few things. They added quest text to the Guardian Tower. I submitted a bug report on that, and I also got a response on Twitter from, I guess, one of the testers slash devs. Uh, they, they tweeted to me after I submitted the, the bug report, so that's really cool. Or maybe they saw my tweet about it. Uh, so they, yeah, like uh, the items, they didn't say that, like, oh, you need to complete this quest before you can craft the item. Like, it, it gave you a list of items, and once you got all those items, it told you you don't, read the, you don't meet the requirements even though you have all the items, so it's pretty confusing. Um, and I couldn't get anyone to give me a response, so I guess they fixed that in the patch notes. And as you're seeing in the background right here, they added a new dungeon uh, it's in the random adventures to get the crystals for the beta berserker and they also added new items i'll put those on screen right now all right we're in game uh here are the new items walk over to the Cicero, uh talk to him go to adventure crafting adventure weapons you have the abyssal blade for 50 of these gems red i'm actually gonna get this one matches my set perfectly so definitely gonna pick up that one you have a blue version of that blade which for some reason it has a less crafting time and a less requirement, uh, but it's just the blue version so they probably uh, think that m less people are going to take the blue version, so probably true though. Uh, and you also have two different wands in here. So these are new items added today. These are permanent items. They're not going to go away when Beta Berserker goes away. They're staying in the game, so uh, if don't rush to get these. Go get your Beta Berserker items first. Uh, they'll always be in the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for me. What you're seeing on screen right now is the tiny little snowman boss that's in the new dungeon. Amazing boss. Um, and that's the end of the dungeon right there. So this whole video was recorded in the amount of time it took to play through that dungeon once. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, we'll be doing all the AQ3D content on the channel. Not all of it, but the stuff I like about AQ3D, that's what we'll be covering here. Uh, so if you want to stick around for the future uh definitely the main big content updates all that stuff and maybe sometimes little patches like this one that i i, I seem to like for some reason i don't know i thought the uh the idea of the new dungeon the sound fixes was really cool so i'll see you guys all in the next video uh peace